Last week, Heather lost her fizz. This dance should bubble and sparkle, and it was like the champagne had gone flat. Standing under the spotlight, your heart thuds. You hear all the names go by. I felt like I was being thrown to the lions. Being in the dance-off, the thing that saw me through it, I saw my son's face. I thought, I'd better dance my socks off. Heather. Heather. Heather and Brian. Now that I've been there, I know what it feels like, and, you know, I don't want to feel it too often. This week, Heather and I had the samba, and I think it's going to be right up Heather's alley. You're going to be very good with the sticks. What do you think, Sam? I grew up in London, near to where they hold the, the carnival. So I'm hoping to bring some of those memories and, and those moods. <laughs> Heather wasn't feeling it in the beginning. I don't want to do this anymore today. But I know she has it in there. Come on, pick the energy up for me, Heather. When she lets it out, it's magnificent. Let's uh, go! This week has been challenging, but I hope to bring that party atmosphere to the dance floor on Saturday. Fabulous. Samba, here I come. <laughs> Dancing the Samba. Will Heather Small and her dance partner, Brian Fortuna, please take to the floor? Come here. <laughs> Heather, well done, Mara. You're right, just here. And Thank Brian, you. that was absolutely beautiful. Just much. a moment. Craig, you're going to start us off. All the L's. Lifeless, lacklustre, oh. oh. laboured. Oh. It really was. The only good thing about that for me was the end. Oh. Oh, well, that, that's unkind. Unkind, but yes, very unkind, Craig. Unkind. Right, Arlene. Um, yeah, you look like you were at different parties. You were letting him do all the work, and then suddenly, right at the end, you suddenly got into it, and you were wild and sassy, and I was just wanting that from the start, Heather. Oh. And I think you can do it. Yeah. Whatever is inside you, let it go, throw it away, and just give it up to the dance. All right, OK, all right, Len, what did you think? Well, I know you can do it, because yeah. the samba and the salsa have got a similar flavour to them. You were fantastic in that uh, salsa the first time you danced. Uh, but this, as I've said, just, I think you're thinking about the steps instead of thinking about uh, the performance. You know, but there you are. But it is they can't all suit you okay, every okay, no, Bruno. Well, you look the part and you have plenty to wiggle and bounce. It's a shame that you <laughs> took quite a little bit of time to get into it. Once you got into it, I thought it was actually good, but you have to be on it from the beginning. A performance starts when you enter the stage. You have to grab us by the throat straight away. Oh. Straight away? Yeah, yeah, immediately. But don't worry, Jim. Don't, sure. don't worry. You're my favourite. OK, don't worry about it. <laughs> Off you go. Right, Will the girl from M People get an A plus from the judges? Well, over to you, Tim. Especially wants to grab Craig by the throat right now. Yes. 
No, I'm a pacifist. I remember that. I'm a pacifist. pacifist. <laughs> Peace and love and all that. Um, even for Craig. <laughs> now, those were disappointing comments from the judges. Mm, yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, well, I enjoyed it and I did my best. So, um, you know, the comments are the comments. But I did enjoy it. So that was first and foremost. Do you feel that you let yourself go? Uh, yes, I did. I did. I didn't feel like I was holding back I do, at all. Heather. I think you let yourself go and I think you were fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The judges have their scores. Craig Revel Horwood. Four. Arlene Phillips. Six. Len Goodman. Six. And Bruno Tognoli. Seven. They're gonna need you to keep Heather and Brian safe from that dance-off. Call 09015. 22, 23, 